This is what stone. <laughs> this is this is a rock. Pardon me. This <laughs> is a rock. Stone. A rock. on top of each other. <laughs> Purple hanging piece from 1969. The bot is there. <laughs> 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 to this. Is this art or is this? They bought it from 85. This is something. They bought a cloth. Some unfinished thing. At first, the spectator seems to direct his attention. But soon after, when he's engaged with the work, it is attention that seems to direct him. How Rumi slips slowly into what I should like to call a whole attention. When I see him, I often think of myself. Like him, how I am equally drawn to things. Things that I see, I hear. <laughs>
There was this woman who said, this is sick. But there was another woman who said, no, it is not. If this is sick, then the whole world is sick. Everyone wants attention. I quickly intervened. So there's nothing wrong with it. No, there is nothing wrong with it at all. This is what art is about. Walking back to my hotel after Mimi Fatmi had finished chewing 18 red chilies, I came across a gondolier. Morning. He was a gondolier who was playing a gondolier on a small bridge over a canal in Venice. Two people, three people, all together. All together. Yeah, the gondola privata for you. The version for you. So money, sixty euros. We do it tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. No work tomorrow. Tomorrow. Money raining. Day. Go. So? Sixty. Ah, balance. I had followed a group of artists to the Biennale that had to announce itself as dreams and conflicts, the dictatorship of the viewer. The artists that I had followed in Venice, I came close to them only when I was back in Amsterdam. <laughs> made me want to do it in this way is the feeling of rejection from the city, but um, I don't think they have that in the images. I think uh, 
what it has is absence. I just a regular building. But next to it, there was this villa uh, where where I'm shooting uh, from. That was very very beautiful. I think it's a villa from. I don't know if it's from the 1940s. It wasn't. Uh, it had holes and gun holes and bombed and all that. But people were living in it, the squatters. But. Als iemand zijn ogen dicht doet, dan, uh, dan kan je niet in iemand zijn ogen kijken. Dus je, je ziet eigenlijk niet waar iemand is of uh, of die terug is in zijn gedachten of in een herinnering. Of dat hij misschien vooruit gaat in de toekomst. Of dat hij slaapt of in een trance is of in onderbewustzijn is. Uh, dus het blijft geheim voor je. Uh, maar je ziet wel dat diegene er is, of je denkt dat diegene er is. Dat is, dat is mooi.
Actually, you have you have not not to film it, but I will not film what this the dog. Yeah, because you can see that I was right, and that it's a really a stupid painting, a really boring painting. You don't think so? Now you you know why he is looking so and uh, so scared. Oh, the other dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost destroying it. Huh? I was almost destroying it. Why? Yeah, I don't know, but every time if if I'm, if I'm busy with with the pendy, mm -hmm. then I call Brenda and I tell her, oh, I have a nice thing. I, it's it's becoming so beautiful. And then I, I hang up and I think again and I watch again and I think I have to change something. Like here, here it was like a little bit of, of this angle here. And I think, no, come on. This is not working. So I try to put it, to take it away. And all the color in the paint was floating out. <laughs> but actually it's, it becomes all, 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 all right again. But it does me also thinking at, at something. It's like I have an uh, additional view. It's like it's already existing somewhere. That I saw it. But I don't know where, what it is. Like the prehistoric cave painting? Yeah, I have a book here. Do you have the book? Yeah. Let's go. It's funny that the, that the background of the paintings, they're uh, really familiar to, to my experiments. But actually, I need just to make the drawing on it. <laughs> and then it's okay. Diana, and she was uh, changing him to uh, a deer, mm. and his uh, own dogs attacked him and killed him. And this dog is like into this from 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 a deer. It's like I was working in the river to. Uh, this hole in the river. Yeah, First really? I had to re remove the river that is taking another direction so I could dig at the place the river went going through. Yeah. It's a bit the same system, the smaller. I'm really happy that I have this now. I sleep much better. So now I can also see where all this, because this is just the beginning of all these experiments. Yeah. How I was starting with the experiments. So it's like the, mer the first move. And now I can also see what could be happen the next few few years. Mm. If I just go go on with this and really go inside and make it big. But is it like discovering a technique or is it more than that, you know? Yeah, or is it linked to a technique? No, it's <coughs> I think if 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 if, if it's, this is it, it's not just a technique, I think. And because some stuff is re removed and it gives it like uh, some speed so that it's not just paint who is lying there. I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Did you try this idea before? You know, the question of strength and weakness together. Yeah. Yeah. 
just thinking about the time. And then it's coming natural. In a studio at Rijks Academy is where I am. The artists I am working with work here. As I look at the work of Claire Harvey, I wonder what problems art can solve. While the world finds itself solving anomalous problems, art can solve not one of them. When you pay attention to art, you receive attention in return. A thing impossible to quantify. Perhaps human beings do not need art, just as monkeys do not need a raincoat. Someone on his way from Ise province to his hometown in Ueno, in Japan, in early November of the year 1689, thought differently. No, but it's okay, you don't concentrate on it. Frame 
Bay floor. Sagrado, los cronis derivados de otro cron, los cronis derivados del cron, de un cron, exageran las aberraciones del inicial. Los de quinto son casi uniformes. Los del noveno se confunden con los del segundo. En los del undécimo hay una pureza de líneas que los originales no tienen. El proceso es periódico. El cron y el... Papá. there in front of his house on the night when he was arrested. I was always one of the people queuing up in line in front, you know, just to see this, just to see him live for the first time. But I wasn't able to see him. And then I come to Holland, like in the beginning of 2002, to start my residency here, and he comes to the trial in that head, you know, just half an hour by train. So I just wanted to go there, you know, like, and see him for the first time, sort of, you know, confront him. And once I was there, I sort of felt that this had some kind of ceremonial significance for me, you know, like being confronted with the man who sort of marked my destiny and identity. So I really wanted to, to capture this experience, to do something with it. And that's when I started to make these little notes and, and drawings in the courtroom. So for example, this is the, the 1st of September, 2003. Mm -hmm. And it started with like, yeah, 25th of February 2002, so it's like two whole years in past. There was a distance of 15 meters between Ivan Grubanov and Slobodan Milosevic. The scale of the drawings reflected the distance. Ivan felt Slobodan's face often slipped away from his hand. This is, this is the image from, from a third channel of Serbian television with a questionnaire for, for the audience. It says, does the prosecution have convincing evidence? And then the people voted over the telephone like, for yes, 393, and for no, 2,400 people. Whenever you go to these exhibitions, to these uh, big things, where they have the old masters, it's never brightly lit. It's always kind of dim. You remember all your talk about smoking, you know, when we had dinner in Venice? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the, you quit smoking. And that day, yeah. Uh, listening to you. <laughs> well, when you mention it... Oh, did I get you to smoke now? You had forgotten about it. Huh? You had forgotten. Yeah, but I remembered I didn't have a cigarette in 15 minutes, so that's like... It's bad for me not to smoke. I get too much oxygen and then my brain starts working too hard and then I get depressed. Because I realize... What the fuck? You know what happened in Croatia? We go to... Per, uh, parliamentary uh, elections? Yeah, I know. I, I right wing again. So, like, how can I think about the world? I mean, Croatia has right wing government again without being depressed. So it's better to smoke a cigarette and then just like the brain doesn't work. I can just feel my my um, my intellectual side is like curved. But my emotional one is thriving. <laughs> It's so beautiful. That's what you do. Yeah, I don't like this. I want to have over the real world. For me, it's a cow shed. It's what? A cow shed. Cow shed. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Because in German, if you if you write uh, Kuhstall, this is a cow shed where the cows live. Of, yeah. And if you just turn by the, by the, by the H, this like this, then it gets completely different meaning. Then it means a uh, uh, art universe. Kunstall. Hi, hey, come in. <laughs> come in, come in. How are you? Doing well.
Listen, it's grey. <laughs> Bread is grey. People just think, oh, sweet, nice. They always think I'm very really sweet. But actually, I'm not. You're not very sweet? Yeah, sometimes, but not often. Actually, I don't know how to be very Why sweet. Why do you think you're sweet? Because you cannot speak English, perhaps? Yeah, if you can't speak good language, so you always smile. Like, this is language. Like, <laughs> hey, and then people think you're sweet. <laughs> so it is difficult. And then, I don't like. Yeah, sure you don't. I want to have a... I don't know, I very much want to go to England. And also I like the, the art. I went to London, I saw many galleries, not gallery. I don't know what to do, I like it there. So. You liked it there? Mm, I you liked it there? Not in London, not in England. I, I don't know what to think about. Maybe this country is good for me because I really don't want to take time to learn French or oh, Germany, you know. It's crazy. So just concentrate but when you I... You can speak quite good English, though, it's okay. No. Everybody says okay. For me, I, I know. But I can't read. I want to read book because I am no good lot of information if in my country for the contemporary art. Well, in China, they don't teach you English. They teach, but uh, before I'm not to study, I must study. <laughs> I have a problem for my speak. When I speak, I'm nervous. I can't speak like <laughs> really. Stammering. Maybe. So, but in the English lesson, the teacher like to ask one by one student to answer question by English. So everybody must stand up, and I stand up. I know how can I speak, but I couldn't pronounce. And my English teacher, he don't like me. And then I don't like to go to English lesson. And I really nervous. So finally, everybody speak. Uh, Question and the ones here they work they cross they don't need me answer so I really don't like no hey ah don't shout anymore. I mean that's why the the work this work and the other one doesn't talk so much. So, I don't, I don't. It might say things, but it doesn't talk like, like it doesn't. So. And it might be uh, misunderstood, not very good with it, uh, unfinished, uh, whatever. But I, <laughs> I mean, I know what you think. I think it's too long and then I need to remove half of it, even though it's just a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. My battery is very low, so if, if she's good at if you really would like her to... I didn't, I was asking... Are you leaving? No, I'm here. I want to go. I'm having enough of this place. Oh, if we're filming, we you just have, you know, answer the question. And not ask her a question because we, we're not going to use it. And I have this on my shoulder, and I want you good in the shots. Yeah. So, you know, you're, we're not going to use all this. So, I'm standing for 10 minutes with this thing on my shoulder, which you're not going to use. So, if you just, you know, say her, you know, what she's yeah. asking, you have a yeah. I also want to say something. Yeah, we also want some difficulties. Yeah. If it's, if it's very complicated, yeah. then it's, it's not, not possible. It's not complicated, it's simple. Well, yeah. Something you did and you should know. Good. Okay. See, it's so interesting. Okay, it is interesting. It's nice. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.
it appears absurd to be an artist in the world we live today. The absurdity must be driven by a compulsion or even a relief an artist may experience in being able to give shape to an unspoken world around. Je bent de enige die nog over is. Nou, ik ga weer verder. Open ateliers came to an end. Ivan and I decided to make a journey to Den Haag, to the International Court of Justice. As he had done for two whole years, Ivan dressed up as a journalist. Yeah. Maybe we can, you know, sit in front of the courtroom and, you know... Because once, one day when I was leaving the, the courtroom, my phone rang. There's Florence Hartmann, the, the, the PR of the court in the, the black gold convertible. Shoot her. Yeah. Get her, get her, get her, get her on tape. Yeah. That's Florence Hartmann. If I go back to Belgrade and, you know, like, just... Stay focused on Belgrade, and Belgrade only wouldn't make much sense. You know, it's, it's it's again a professional suicide because you know there isn't much going on there. You know, like there is no art scene, art network, art market. You know, these things just don't exist. So my my only hope, my only way of surviving as an artist, you know, like maintaining my practice as an artist on the level that I think is appropriate is to sort of stay in contact with this place, you know, try to do some shows here. Because going back to Belgrade and sort of, you know, like, staying in Belgrade only, that's... Yeah, you're, you're restricted in a way. You're very restricted, like, all the international links to this place have been broken, have been broken up in the last 10 years. And and everything. Look at the birds coming down and uh, gaze. But you're not supposed to read it in a linear way. Otherwise, like you have a lot of work. I could also read it in a different way. Yeah, it fits everywhere because it's noise. What? Look at. What time is it, Mother? You know, I forgot my watch and my mobile phone. I have to meet my producer today. You have what? I have to meet my producer. <laughs> I need money to control my life. Yeah. Oh yeah, me too. <laughs> you too? Yeah. That's what you do if you have a lot of money. No. I don't know what I'll do if I have a lot of money. <laughs> just, just enough money for a film. Just enough to make a film. Mm-hmm.
I just sat in the foreign police the whole day. You? Yeah. Oh. Why? You were trying to stay here? Yeah. Huh? Yes. You want to stay in Holland? Yeah. Don't want to go back? No. Why? Because I prefer it here. You like it here? Yeah. Oh, everybody loves Holland. <laughs> I don't think so, but I do. I don't know why. Do you find it quieter here? Hmm? Do you find it quieter? No, not quieter. More life.